I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious developers just like you and me. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life in all circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions, especially with the uncertain times that we're all living in today. Day. Skillshare is a perfect way for you to brush up on technical skills that you can use to secure your future as an aspiring developer. One of the classes that I'm particularly interested in is the hand coding your first website HTML and CSS basics original by Rich Armstrong. And I think this is perfect for building that basic foundation that you need to help you move on to JavaScript and building your own websites on your own. The first 1000 people to click on the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I hope you all enjoy the rest of this video. Yo, 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 what is up? Everyone, I want to welcome everyone to another video. It's good to see every single one of you all. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I want to let you know that you're in for a surprise because my life is getting better by the day, it feels like. And this story that I've been documenting since, I don't know, 2017 is insane, everyone. I can't believe I'm even making this video. I never once imagined in my life that I would even make a video like this. Just the amount I'm going to be telling you, the value, the content is insane. And I never even dreamed that this would ever happen because I thought that to be able to reach a level I'm at today, I would have to go to medical school. I'd have to be a lawyer. I don't know. I'd have to be a nurse working two full-time jobs, right? But I'm not. I am me and I'm doing what I love for a living. I'm a proud college dropout, don't know how to graduate high school, and I am a web developer, but technically I'm a software engineer today now. I have worked for, I think, about five different companies since I became a developer almost five years ago. Just within the last 12 months, I've moved to four different states. I've worked for three different companies. And just 10 months ago, I started my own web development agency. And I can't believe I'm going to share with you what I'm going to share with you. It is mind boggling, to be honest, everyone, to see this point in my life that I'm at right now. Because there's one thing I want to tell you for sure, everyone, is that I've said this many times, okay? I'm going to say it again. Five years ago, if you told me today that just making a decision to go to Treehouse, teamtreehouse.com, to learn code, that I would be here today, that I'd be working for New Relic as a developer relations engineer, that I would start my own web development company because I got laid off, and that because I got laid off, I'm at New Relic as a developer relations engineer, and now I'm a full-time content creator. Aside from, as a contractor, working for other people too, building these websites for clients as well. It is crazy to think about that, everyone. So what I'm going to tell you is how I went from $15 an hour, which is about $31,000 a year, to making what I'm earning now, which is $270,000 a year. It is crazy the fact I'm sharing this number. And how this happened, I'm going to try to share in as little as eight minutes. I know I did like a two minute intro, but it's just crazy for me to even share this right now. Okay, everyone, let's do this right now. So my last job before I became a junior web developer at my first company for the first two years, I was a executive assistant for an audiovisual company in Huntington Beach. That company threatened to fire me because I didn't really care about hanging out with people at lunch, going out with them all the time, not hanging out with people after work. I was more focused on, all right, I want to get my job done. This is a paycheck to paycheck job. They were paying me 18 bucks an hour, but they cut my hours. So it was technically back to $15 an hour, making less than the last job. And they threatened to fire me because I was more focused and just trying to survive than hang out with people at that time. So because they threatened me, I, I realized I need to make a difference in my life. I need to change my life. So what did I do? I learned code at Treehouse. I saw a video saying that you don't need to be smart to learn code. So I went to teamtreehouse.com, learn code. You can check the link in the description below if you're interested. And I got my first developer job in three months. Now my first developer job as a junior developer, they were looking for a senior developer. That was not me. I barely knew HTML, CSS. They wanted someone who knew PHP, Laravel, Twig, everything. Right, as a, as a senior developer, full stack developer, I knew none of that, but still I got the job. As lucky as it could be, yes, I got the job. Now that first job as a junior developer, barely knowing any code, 
they paid me $45,000 a year. $45,000 a year, it was just insane. Going from 15 bucks an hour to about 21, it was pretty amazing because I was able to afford so much more things. And living in California is not easy whatsoever. It is hard, it is expensive, it is not cheap. So I got that first job. I was at that first company for two years. And as I was with that company at first for two years, I realized, you know what, I need to do something better with my life. When I say that, I mean, I needed a better pay because yo, it's not easy to live in California. It's really expensive, especially having a car. I needed better insurance and they didn't offer the best insurance. I needed a good insurance. So fortunately, after two years of that company making 45K a year, yes, I'm documenting my journey as a developer, but then I got a job at my second company as a mid-level developer at Entrepreneur Magazine. They offered me the job. I got it. I was earning about $70,000 a year, which is amazing because after taxes in California, that's about $2,000 every two weeks. But what even sucks is that my home, my apartment was $2,000 a month. So it didn't even feel that like that much at all whatsoever. And it was my fault because number one, I shouldn't have gotten that expensive apartment. I was not thinking and I was in debt. So 70K a year is really good. It's not bad at all, but because of my bad decisions, it wasn't enough for me to survive. So good thing I had YouTube to live off of. Now, I was at that company for about two years and two months, right? I love that job. To be honest, if I could have stayed at that job for 10 years, I probably would have. They paid well and assurance was really good, but unfortunately, what was going on in the world last year in 2020, as everyone knows, I got laid off. And that was the hardest thing ever because I love the people I've worked with. My boss at the company is amazing. Jake, I will love you forever, man. You taught me so much. He was so understanding. He really did have our backs and he did everything he can to make our jobs easier, which was a first for me. But I got let go. And it was tough because I could even tell that my boss's eyes were really red from crying or it was just tough for him, right? And, and then even after I got laid off, my coworkers, former coworkers told me, yeah, like you could tell Jake was like having a hard time telling the whole team they had to let me go. Fortunately, from the best of my knowledge, no one's been let go yet. So after getting laid off, it was the toughest thing ever, right? But little did I know that being laid off from my dream job, the dream company I love working with, the people I loved working with, right? Little did I know that this point in my life, which was only what, did it happen like what? 10 months ago, okay? That happened 10 months ago, that that would cause a spark to change my life forever. Why? Because when I got laid off, I realized that at the end of the day, no matter what company you work for, you're just a number and no one cares about you. Why? They have to protect their butts in the end and who is it that they have to sacrifice to make sure that the company could survive is they let us go. And when I realized that, I realized I need to do something to take care of myself now. I'm gonna keep looking for a new job as a developer, but one thing I need to do for sure is start my own business. So that's why I started Developer Branded, started my own cloning company, started my own letter desk company. I started growing my YouTube channel even more. I started doing podcasts like crazy. And then what ended up happening is I even created my own web development agency. And what's so crazy, okay? When I decided to start my own business, even though I have no idea what I'm doing, did not know anything, I still don't know anything, I still don't know what I'm doing, I'm just going. There were so many people doubting me. There were people that I caught, my own friend, going behind my back. They said it is cringe hearing Chris saying he wants to start his own business now. Does he think he can do everything? And when I caught him, I called him out like, dude, why did you say this about me? Like, that's so messed up. We've known each other for three to four years. Like, why would you do that? And he said, what, you want me to take it back? Because he was caught, he got prideful, ended up being a jerk. So I'm not friends with that person anymore, but because that person talked behind my back, do you know what I wanted to do even more? I wanted to make sure this company was successful and grow it like crazy. Okay, so we'll go back to this later. So after getting laid off, I started growing my own business, started trying to sell stuff, bought a bunch of leather desk pads, really good quality that I could sell for a good price, hoping like I could, it could do well. And it's, doing, it's not doing bad. So what happened is that after getting laid off, at my new job, right? I got a new job offer. Actually, no, I got two job offers after getting laid off from a company in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, and a company in the middle of nowhere in uh, Virginia or in Tennessee. Well, technically Virginia, Tennessee. And got two job offers in California. That job in Silicon Valley wanted to offer me $95,000 a year. He actually offered 90,000. I negotiated and I'm like, no, I want to go a little higher. Go a little higher. I said 95, 90,000. I'm like, oh no, I want to do 100,000, 110,000, right? And they finally settled to, all right, Chris, we're going to go with this amount. And then what happened was I got the second job offer in the middle of nowhere. And that job, it was just, it just sounds so tempting because I get to move to the East Coast and experience a new life. So I ended up rejecting a job in the Bay Area, in Silicon Valley, and I ended up moving to the middle of nowhere in Virginia, right? Middle of nowhere, all white people. No Asians except at the Asian restaurants. And the only reason there, there's so many Asians at the Asian restaurant because the kids who work for the parents of that restaurant are Asian too. <laughs> so I moved there. They offered me a decent job, but they paid me better than what I earned at 
my last job at Entrepreneur. But then I ended up quitting that company because one of the people was just toxic and I left. Right. Unfortunately, right. The company wasn't toxic, but one person was. And I just had to have a little bit more self-respect for myself. And I ended up leaving in good terms, though, in good terms of the CEO. Right. And what happens when I end up leaving, I end up instead just being a, a, a small contractor for that CEO, working on other things on the side rather than working for the main company. Right. So fortunately, that happened. But then when I announced on Twitter that I'm quitting my job because I just wasn't happy and I couldn't handle a toxic environment, my tweet on Twitter went viral. It got like, I, th I correct me if I'm wrong, I might be remembering this incorrectly, but it got thousands of retweets, thousands of shares, thousands of likes. I think it got close to 1 million people like just looking at the post within itself. And because of that tweet, a week after I quit that job in the middle of a pandemic after moving across the country from Las Vegas or West Coast to the East Coast, I quit my job. After one week of quitting, I got interviews with Apple, interviews with Facebook, interviews with companies in Boston, interviews with company in San Diego, in Florida, all around the country and there's some people outside of the country as well. Interviews everywhere. So many interviews. And then what happened? This amazing hiring manager from New Relic reached out to me saying, Chris, I, I'm impressed with your courage and I'm sorry for what you went through. I have a job proposition for you. This is a new team I'm building. This team will be doing things that no other team in the world is doing. It's going to be different. And I'm like, what are you talking about? This is my new job at New Relic as a developer relations engineer. My job is to create content for a living, to stream on Twitch for a living, upload YouTube videos for a living, teach people code, travel around the world, speaking at conferences, inspiring more people to be better developers, right? And be a developer. So that's my job right now as a developer relations engineer. And that job, I'm gonna tell you everyone, I'm not gonna tell you the exact amount, but I'm gonna tell you this, they paid more than double than what I earned an entrepreneur. You have to understand, I got laid off in Entrepreneur in May, around May, May, May or June, Look, I think it was May of 2020 in the middle of a crazy pandemic. I move across the country because I got laid off. I move across the country for this new startup. I quit that startup in the middle of a pandemic as well. One week later, I get a new company reaching out to me for this new job and they offered to pay me more than double than what I earned at my mid-level position. That is unheard of in the middle of what's going on in 2020, okay? Now, while this is happening, again, you know what I earned at my job at Entrepreneur. They paid more than double. I'm telling you that right now. That's not even including bonuses and stocks, right? Okay. Now, aside from that, what crazy thing happened as well is that my web development agency, because my YouTube started growing up, because my brand started growing, all these things started happening, clients end up coming to me to make them websites, to work with them on new designs, to give them like consulting advice in regards to how to better improve content creation, all these things, things I can't talk about on here, unfortunately. So my web development agency started kicking off and I'm gonna tell you this, how much I make, okay, how much I make from just contracting alone with my web development agency. By the end of this year, I'm also getting a new client that's gonna pay me additional about, we're negotiating, but about 30 to $40,000 just this year for that one client. So in all together, that's about $150,000. Um, all together by the end of this year. Please note, now when I'm adding this all up together, all this math, 10 months ago, I was making only $70,000. I'm not including YouTube, okay? Not including YouTube right now. Just $70,000 a year at my mid-level position. I got laid off. I started my own business, moved across the country, new job offer as a full-time content creator for New Relic as a developer relations engineer, just streaming code online, that's my job. And my business kicked off in total, not including a new client. What I'm earning right now, every year, is $270,000 a year. This is crazy. I might lose one of the clients, and that's fine. Guess what? I'm gonna get a new one. <laughs> like, it's crazy to think of where I am right now. And I'm not sharing this to brag at all. As you all know, for those who've been following me for the last five years, I documented my journey from when I was living in my car. I even made a video on me crying in the car because I can't believe I have health insurance for once. I made a video of getting my very first apartment, renting my very first home. Now I'm in this gigantic apartment, which I can't wait to make a new home tour of. I'm sharing this to share my journey with you all, and I'm really hoping that a video like this can encourage you to let you know that if I can do it, you can definitely do it too. Yo, I was doing my budgeting the other week and after taxes, everyone, I mean, this to me, this is insane. I don't know about you, but $15,000 in cash, like that's unheard of to me. I can't believe that. Now this is including YouTube too though, okay? But with this new client, if it goes through everyone, 270 plus 40K, that's $310,000. My client list, will, clientele will continue to go up. Why? This all happened because I got laid off 
and realize at the end of the day, no matter what company you work for, the one who cares about you the most is yourself and you need to do something about that. I decided to do something about that. Now I'm telling you, I got lucky. I'm lucky to be who I am today. I'm lucky to be a developer in a world where they need developers. I'm lucky that my I get to learn code for a living on Twitch because what that is doing is that now I'm able to improve my skills as developer as well. I'm learning React every morning and then I'm learning cybersecurity in the evening. <laughs> And in the weekends, I'm doing all this other stuff and I'm even learning Python on Twitch. This is my job. So I'll, I'll put the link in the description below to my Twitch if you want to check it out. But everyone, I did get here by accident, it's true. But the reason I also got here was because I didn't just sit back and do nothing. I didn't just sit back thinking this is the end for me. I had no idea what I've been doing the last four to five years. But one thing is for sure is that I just kept doing. That I kept going, I kept trying. I failed like crazy. Yo, when I started my business, I called coding phases. I called my uncle. I called all these different people. Called, I spoke to Joshua Fluke about like starting a business, taxes, and all these different things. Should I do an LLC? Should I do all these different things? Should I do an escort? Trying to learn, and I made a lot of mistakes. But man, this all happened because I decided to never settle and keep getting better in my skill and trying to do something new. And I'll let you know if I can do this again, everyone, you can too. It just starts with. How bad do you want it? I gave up gaming. I gave up so many things to get to who I am today. And to go back, by the way, to that friend who talked behind my back saying it's cringe Chris is starting his own business. He's nowhere to be found now. Okay, I mean, when I say he's nowhere to be found, I didn't do anything. I mean, like, he's out of my life, okay? <laughs> Nothing like that. He's out of my life, meaning we're not friends no more. But he can't say that no more. And the people he was talking about me to them can't say that no more. People always doubt you, especially yourself. I doubt myself all the time. But you can't let that determine if you'll succeed or not. You have to fight against your thoughts. You have to fight against what people will tell you what you can or can't do in the world and keep going. Anyway, that's how I did it. That's literally it. And I'm gonna keep going. I can't wait to see where my life will be in five years. It's insane. It's exciting. But I love you all. Thank you for watching, man. If you can, everyone, please, if you made it to the end of the video, comment below, let me know. But if you can, if not comment, I ask and I'm begging you, like this video, help me grow my channel, help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. But anyways, I have another video coming out really soon. Love you all. This is Krishan. This is the life of a web developer. And I'm out. Peace.